So Justin Dow, here we are in Western Australia. Thoughts ahead of the rally this weekend? Well, the weather's good, so we're very excited about that, uh, considering, you know, yesterday it was very, very cold and wet and slippy on the road, so it'll be good. Simon Evans, thoughts ahead of this weekend's rally? We uh, had a good test and uh, we're ready to go. I'm just looking forward to a race. And uh, the weather? What weather? It's nice and sunny here. But uh, how, do you, how was the testing weather? Oh, it was interesting. It was wet and that. But, yeah, over here it dries really quickly. So, uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. All right. And thoughts ahead of this weekend's rally? Mate, the sun is shining. Um, it had 60 mils of rain. And, you know, this event is very, very tough. To throw that into the mix is, uh, makes, it makes it even tougher. And thoughts on your chances this weekend? Uh, I've always loved Perth. It suits, suits me. Car's, car's really good and we're, we're very confident. So, Glenn Raymond, um, after a fairly ordinary start to the season, you come to probably a, an event where there's a bit of expectation upon you given that you're the reigning champion of the Quit Forest, Forest Rally from 2009. Yeah, tarmac's not really my uh, favourite service, so getting back into the gravel, especially here, it's a bit slippery, but just love getting the car sideways and setting it up for the corners. But it's been a fair bit of rain over these last couple of days, but now the sun's shining, so you never know. Under the trees, it's going to be pretty slippery, so the notes are going to really come into it and a bit of experience, but... It's going to be a bit scary, but obviously everyone's going to be going hammer and tongs, so anything could happen over the weekend. Eli Evans, thoughts ahead of this weekend's Quit Forest Rally? Yeah, look, we're car two on the road, so it's going to be tough. It's always uh, a tricky event with all the ball bearing surfaces, so um, I've done 2Ks in the car now on gravel, so it's going to be a big learning curve for me, but I'm confident the car's still fast and, uh, and we'll still be up the pointy end.